Hello, good morning. Thank you again Hello. for meeting with me to discuss your role as a midwife. If you could, could you please introduce yourself? Yep, my name is Joy Marie Steely, and I am a certified nurse midwife. Joy, would you please give us information about the licensure requirements in order to be a certified nurse midwife? So, um, in the state of Florida, um, for a certified nurse midwife, you need to complete, um, you have to have your RN license. And so you go through the RN and then your bachelor's in nursing because it's a master's degree. Um, and then after the master's, you apply for our licensure exam, which is through the American Midwifery Board of Certification. And you take that exam, and once you pass that exam, um, you submit your little number to the Florida Department of Health and um, in the state of Florida, I'm actually under the license of an advanced practice registered nurse. Can you tell us how your RN prep contributed to you becoming a midwife? Uh, I knew from the beginning I wanted to be a midwife, so I made sure that, um, you know, in nursing school, I think you always kind of pay more attention to what you are naturally drawn to. Um, so naturally, I got really good grades in my <laughs> women's health. Um, and then after becoming a nurse, I really tried to focus on working in areas of women's health that um, were going to kind of set me up for success. One of the things that is kind of a grand debate, um, especially amongst labor and delivery nurses, um, is whether or not you need that med surge experience or not. Um, and for me, I did do one year of med surge experience um, in a woman's health floor. It was a GYN med surge floor. And then I went on to becoming a postpartum nurse. I did that for a year. And then um, I did labor and delivery um, before going back to school to be a midwife. And Joy, you're, a, I know you personally, so I, I, just listening to your background and your experience, can you tell us about your pre-nursing experiences related to women's health? Yes, um, so technically in the Jacksonville area, I've been in the birthing community for close to 14 years. Um, I was a massage therapist, so I worked with women. Um, nobody really wanted to touch a pregnant woman when they were pregnant and I was like, I've had a baby, I know it hurts, let's do this. Um, which led into me looking into becoming a doula, which is like a certified professional birthing coach that provides physical and emotional labor support. Um, and I did that through DONA, which is an international um, certification for doulas. Okay, and if you would, can you tell us the job role and responsibilities of a midwife in an office and hospital setting? So this one kind of trips everybody out because they're like, wait, what does a midwife do? Um, so the short answer is I can take care of women across the lifespan. So usually starting um, around the adolescence age or depending on when the first monarch is or their first period. Um, and then we can take care of women all the way through uh, postmenopause. Um, and as a nurse practitioner in general, we focus on like normal, healthy women. So normal physiological births, normal physiological pregnancy, normal presentation of anything that happens in our lives. Um, in the hospital, I can do postpartum rounding. I can do take care of um, labor and delivery. I mean, I can deliver babies. Um, with, with your basic license as a nurse midwife, you can... Um, repair second and third degree perineal lacerations um, and with advanced training you can actually work with a physician and become a first assist um, where you would do assisting in c-sections um, and then you could do some more advanced things as well um, working directly with the physician to get trained for that in the office um, do pap smears put IUDs in neck splenons talk to women about um, menopausal issues hormonal issues um, even some, you know, basic psychiatric stuff with, we're talking about, you know, postpartum depression or sometimes the mood things that occur in that perimenopausal state or even postmenopausal. Um, the school that I went to is very heavy in primary care because we know that there's an access to care issue. Um, and so sometimes the only time these women are seeking care or when coming to an OBGYN office um, or seeing their midwife. So I can also 
you know, do some things. Like if the blood pressure is high, I can at least start them on some sort of low-dose medication and then send them to uh, a primary care to follow up. Um, so pretty much everything except men. <laughs> um, and Thank then, you. Yeah, depending on your area too, midwives also can take up to take care of newborn babies up until 28 days of life. Okay. And my next question is, is there a project that you completed while you were in school um, or a project that you would like to work on in the future as it relates to women's health, um, kind of in the regards of research or improving evidence-based practice? Um, in school, the first project we had to do, we started at the first semester, um, was a community assessment. Um, the school, my husband calls it the hippy dippy midwifery school. <laughs> they actually do a lot of stuff, but um, they were very heavy in creating a change in where you were at. So I did a community assessment to look at the health disparities and how uh, becoming a midwife could help close some of those disparity gaps. Um, so things like low birth weight, premature birth, um, number of women who don't get um, any prenatal care, um, and how that can affect just the population in general and um, because premature babies and babies of low birth weight have higher comorbidities which in turn just means it's more expensive um, so they looked at that going forward um, in da the Jacksonville area we actually have certified professional midwives we have certified nurse midwives and of course ever OBGYN doctors so going forward I would really like to try and work on um, doing something with creating a better continuum of care because um, sometimes certified professional midwives don't have a as good of a working relationship with some of the OBGYNs or some of the CNMs um, that are in our area and I think that can be something that we can work on to just be safe in our area. Well, thank you so much for your time today. We really appreciate it. You were the first person I thought of when there was a discussion about role of the midwife. So I appreciate you being willing to discuss your profession with me this morning. My pleasure. Anytime. Thank you.